This example says, what is the sum? If it's convergent, if it's divergent, find the sum. So is the series convergent, divergent? If it's convergent, we always try to find the sum. So let's take a look at this series. Series that we have is two to two n, three to one minus n, and starts from one and goes to infinity. Very well. As you can see, you have some powers. We have a power here, but it's just associated to one value r. Here you have two bases. One of them is two, the other one is three. Let us make some adjustments. So two raised to two n and three raised to one minus n. My goal is to create n minus one as the x one. So this is four to the n. And this is three divided by three to the n, okay? Here you can say that, well, this can be written as four thirds to the n times three. And since I need exponent n minus one, I can add and subtract one, and I can write it this way. This is equal to three, four thirds to the power n, I add and subtract one to create n minus one. Okay, here we go. This is equal to three, four thirds to n minus one times four thirds. You can cancel out three and three. You get four times four thirds to the power n minus one. So this series, and starts from one to infinity is nothing but a series four times four thirds to n minus one and starts from one goes to infinity. A is four and R is four thirds. Well, R is four thirds, R is greater than one. So you can write since R is greater than one, it means that they have a divergent sequence. We have a divergent series, sorry, not sequence, series. Next example. In this example, we have a decimal number. 